Okay. Uh, uh, you have watched my previous video where uh, the SWR circle, spacing circle, and I have plotted Y one D. Now, as the value of D changes, and so will the angle. And if angle changes, the location of Y one D will also change. Somewhere it can be over here or here. Example. With that, the the place of spacing circle will also change. If Y one D is over here. Spacing circle will will come over here. If it is over here, spacing circle will come over here. Okay. Now let's move ahead. Uh, we need to plot y11 and y1 y y11 dash. So we you have to check where y1d cuts the real axis. Okay. So it comes over down over here. It cuts the real axis axis in point three. Okay. So. Point three over here. Now, two points of spacing circle intersecting with point three circle will give two points y one one and y one one dash. So move this way. This point, first point cutting spacing circle, that is y one one, and as we move ahead, it cuts over here. That is y one one dash. Okay, this is done. After that, now the spacing circle is over here. All all the mapping is done in z is equal to one circle. So z is equal to one circle is over here. So we have to move this spacing circle this way so that we get the perfect matching. So when we move the circle this way. The point over here will come somewhere over here, and the point over here will come somewhere over here. Now, that is done. This way. Keep the keep at the center. Keep on y one one, y one one, and move it in clockwise direction because S W R is in clockwise, and Make a arc which cuts the unit circle. Okay, as the distance is this and over here, so this point will be this point over here on unit circle will be y two d. And we need to map y one one dash. So we take over here. And rotate it. it. It will cut somewhere over here in unit circle. Here, this point is y two d dash. Okay, we have done with the Smith chart explanation. Now we need to dark the points as we move. First, we move from y l to y one d. So we have to dark that. Okay. After that, uh, after that you move uh, from y one d two, y one one and to y one one dash. So arrow over here, it comes over here and here. Okay. After that, y one one is relocated to y two d in z is equal to one. So we need to make that dark. Use a protective round for that. And y one one two. Okay. Okay. We are done. Just extend all the points. While uh, this point y one d okay now the calculation part we need to calculate the following for parameters which are y s one y s one dash y s two and y s two dash formula for that is Y one one minus Y one D 
वाई वन वन डैश माइनस वाई वन डी वन माइनस वाई टू डी एंड वन माइनस वाई टू डी डैश नाउ एज वी हैव दिस वैल्यूज यू हैव टू गेट दैट वैल्यूज यूजिंग स्मिथ चार्ट ओके नाउ आई गेट वाई वन वन इज सो वाई वाई वन वन इज रियल इज पॉइंट थ्री एंड इमेजनरी इज ऑल्सो पॉइंट थ्री एज इट इज इन अपवर्ड पार्ट सो इट विल बी पॉइंट थ्री प्लस पॉइंट थ्री जे पॉइंट थ्री प्लस पॉइंट थ्री जे नाउ वाई वन डी वाई वन डी इज एट पॉइंट थ्री एंड इट्स बिटवीन पॉइंट फाइव एंड पॉइंट सिक्स सो इट विल बी पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो पॉइंट थ्री प्लस पॉइंट फाइव फाइव जे वाई टू डी वाई टू डी इज समेर ओवर इयर इट इज वन एंड वन पॉइंट फोर जे वन प्लस वन पॉइंट फोर जे वाई टू डी डैश दैट इज वन एंड इट करस्पोन्स टू थ्री फिफ्टी इट टू टू माइनस टू थ्री समवेर ओवर य Approximately, you get it three point six. It is one minus three point six j. And uh, okay, we are done. So we calculate the parameters. We calculate the parameters y s one y one one. So this and this will get cancelled. Point three minus point five five j. That will give me minus point two five. J, uh, y, okay, yeah, y one one dash is remaining. Y one one dash will be point three and one point seven j. Y one one dash is point three plus one point seven j. Okay, so we we have to use it over here. This minus this again. This will get cancelled. One point seven minus point five five. One point seven minus point five five. One point one five. So that will be one point one five j positive. In case of y s two one minus y two d. So One and one will get cancelled. It will be minus one point four j, and this will be plus three point six j. Now we have these four points. We have to plot it again on Smith chart. Minus two point five j. That means it is capacitive, so it will be somewhere down over here. Okay. Minus two point five. Zero point two five. Zero point two. Yeah, is zero point two. Zero point three. Uh, this is the middle point. Okay. We extend that point and name is a name it as y. Y one s one. Okay, then one point one five j. It is positive. It will be somewhere over here. One point one five. So this is one. One point one will be somewhere over here. And five somewhere over here. So we extend that point outside. <coughs> this is y one one y s one dash. Y S two minus one point four J, so this is one. This is one point four. 
So we extend that. One point four J and uh, the last one y is two dash three point six J positive. So three is here. Uh, three point two, three point four, three point six. This is y s two dash. This is y s two. Okay. Now we have to calculate the respective wavelength values. Uh, okay. Y s one wavelength value is somewhere uh, very small. The outer value it is point four six and some value. So. Point four six. It is point four six into some value. Okay, so we need to calculate the wavelength difference. So it is somewhere point four six and one division. So I calculated point four six plus one into zero point zero zero two. Get point four six two. This value is point four six two lambda. This value now point three four and approximately point three five. So I take it as point three five lambda. This value is point two and one two three three and a half divisions. So firstly three into zero point zero zero two. Plus zero point two, zero point two zero six and half of one, so I take it as zero point two zero seven lambda. Zero point two zero seven lambda. And uh, yeah, why is one? It is zero point one three and three divisions, so zero point one three plus. Three into zero point zero zero two. Okay. Zero point one six three lambda. Yeah. <coughs> That's okay. Everything is been done. Uh, now we need to draw the circuit. Uh, circuit final circuit diagram. Yeah. This is my D1 lambda by 8. This is my D2 lambda by 8. This is my L1. This is my L2. Okay. Now we have the respective values of Y S1, Y S1 dash, Y S2, and Y S2 dash, and we have all we have in terms of wavelength. So, uh, what you can do is you have to select minimum value between Y S1 and Y S1 dash. Okay. Minimum wavelength value. Y S one is point four six two, and Y S one dash is point one three six. So we have to select point one three six. You can even take that, but taking minimum value will be better because it can re it reduces the size of stub. Okay. So this is point one three six lambda. See same in the case of Y S two and Y S two dash. Uh. Y S two dash is minimum, so we take point two zero seven. Point two zero seven lambda. Okay. We are done. Okay. Don't forget to like, like my video, share my video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Hope you like it. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. You can comment below. Okay. Thank you.